हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन तो टूडे वी लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दैट इज एल्कोहल फिनॉल एंड एथर सो वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एल्कोहल फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दिस थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पाउंड देन वील डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर फ्रॉम दिस तो फर्स्ट वील स्टार्ट विथ एल्कोहल एल्कोहल इज द ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पाउंड that contain oh group any aliphatic compound that contain oh group that is alcohol now for example we all know ethanol methanol propanol these are various example now next is that is classification so classification these are classified by number of hydroxy group so first we will do that classification by its hydroxy group that is monohydric then dihydric then trihydric alcohol then polyhydric alcohol for monohydric alcohol we know that methanol ethanol are example for dihydric alcohol we all know that very important example that is ethylene glycol th2h ch2h these are very important dihydric alcohol then it is trihydric alcohol and it is very well known that is glycerol and polyhydric alcohol that is very well known that is sorbitol it is present in various medicine sorbitol glycerol ethylene glycol now this monohydric alcohol are classified in various sub class that is one degree alcohol that is primary for example that is methanol ethanol then 2 degree alcohol or secondary alcohol that is isopropanol then tertiary alcohol that is 3 degree alcohol this is very well known tertiary butyl alcohol then vinyl alcohol so vinyl alcohol these are very unstable this is actually undergo ketoenol tautomerism this is enol form and this gives the keto form that is aldehyde that is aldi acetaldehyde then allylic alcohol and finally benzylic alcohol we can see that these are various type of alcohol now next section we will discuss about preparation here we will see some very important name reaction or synthesis then we will discuss about some chemical property of this alcohol so first is hydration of alkene here we can see that any alkene can be hydrated that means addition of water in presence of either acid or other reagent that is borel so if we add acid and water then we will get secondary alcohol and this reaction follows the markovnik of addition rule and due to this reason this always gives secondary alcohol now next hydroboration oxidation so here you you have to remember that boron always add to that least hindered site of that carbon means any organic compound or, or alkene whatever given that is you have to add that boron to the carbon which has least number of substituent so here we can see this carbon is Least hindered, so this boron will add here, and this will give alkyl boron of this type. Now again, it will add two more alkene to give trialkyl. Now this trialkyl boron can be oxidized by hydrogen peroxide, alkaline hydrogen peroxide. It will give formation of primary alcohol. So what we can see. that hydration of alcohol if we add acid water then always will get the formation of secondary alcohol but if we follow this pathway that is hydroboration followed by oxidation in presence of boron so we will get formation of primary alcohol this is 2 degree alcohol and this is 1 degree alcohol now next is reduction reduction of aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid so here we can see two main reagent is used that is 
sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. Other reagents like palladium charcoal and hydrogen or other nickel catalyst are used, but these are two major reagents which is which is used in laboratory that is sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. So, what are the reaction? RCHO, here R, we can change anything. Similarly, ketone and for carboxylic acid, lithium aluminum hydride are generally used. Here in this case also lithium aluminum hydride can be used, but one thing you have to remember that lithium aluminum hydride is very violent region. It reacts so fast and creates heat energy, so sometimes organic compound catches fire. So, we always prefer sodium borohydride for mild reducing agent like aldehyde or ketone. So, lithium aluminum hydride always written as either LiLH4 or LaH. If it is given LaH, so don't be confused, it is lithium aluminum hydride. So, we can see. First, that hydration of alkene, then reduction of aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid. Now, next, next is Grignard reagent. So, Grignard reagent. So, Grignard reagent is very important organometallic compound that is known as RMGX. So, RMGX is Grignard reagent. Here, R we can change accordingly, whatever R we want to take and X is halide. Now, this Grignard reagent are added to that carbonyl compound, either aldehyde or ketone or carboxylic acid or ester. So, what we can see that by Grignard reagent, one thing you, you must remember that any kind of alcohol we can synthesize. So, we can get a chart of reaction that is First, RMGX, if it is added to formaldehyde, the simplest aldehyde. So, it will give formation of RCH2OH, that is primary alcohol. Primary alcohol also can be synthesized by RMGX plus epoxide. Next, if we want to synthesize secondary alcohol, then we have to add RMGX with any aldehyde except formaldehyde, any aldehyde, suppose R dash CHO, so we will get secondary alcohol, so it will give secondary alcohol. Similarly, if we add RMGX to ketone, it will give tertiary alcohol, R dash CH double bond, R dash, so it will give, so this is tertiary alcohol. Now, next is that is, if we add this Grignard reagent to that ester. Here, two RMGX is used. So, any ester, if we add, so it will give formation of tertiary alcohol. So, these are various reaction of Grignard reagent to form alcohol. Now, next section we will see properties of alcohol. Alcohols have higher boiling point. Now, what is the reason? So, the main reason that is alcohol can form intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So, what is intermolecular hydrogen bonding? ROH if we take, so this ROH form hydrogen bonding with other alcohol like this. So, we can see this, this is a intermolecular hydrogen bonding and this intermolecular hydrogen bonding makes this alcohol a liquid form and also this alcohol has very high boiling point compared to same molecular weight alkane or alkene and other organic compound. Now, it is the same reason this alcohol is soluble in water because we know that water has also hydrogen bonding. So, we can see that alcohol are very good soluble in water. Now, the solubility of alcohol decreases with the increase of R. Because we can see this is the hydrophilic part and this is the hydrophobic part. So, if hydrophobic part increases, means this hydrophobic part size increases, then the solubility of the alcohol to water decreases. So, we can see that 
द सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑर्डर विल बी वन डिग्री टू डिग्री थ्री डिग्री लाइक दिस सो दैट हायर एल्कोहल आर लेस सॉल्युबल इन वाटर ना नेक्स्ट इज एसिडिटी एसिडिटी ऑफ एल्कोहल सो हेयर ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट इज एनी एसिड एच ए इट इज एसिडिक इफ देयर कॉन्जुगेट बेस इज मोर स्टेबल सो वी कैन सी वी कैन राइट दैट एच ए एज एसिड एंड इट विल गिव द कॉन्जुगेट बेस दैट इज ए माइनस एंड दिस एसिड इफ इट इज गिविंग एच प्लस एस बिकॉज दिस इज ए एसिड सो दिस एच ए शोज एसिडिटी इफ दिस ए माइनस इज स्टेबल नाउ ए माइनस इज स्टेबल if this charge of minus means this negative charge is either delocalized or it has some substituent which reduce the charge density to the center now alcohol alcohol also gives ro minus plus h plus now the acidity of alcohol depends on this substituent of r if r is electron donating then this pushes more electron towards oxygen and destabilizes the anion so it will be less acidic similarly r if it is electron withdrawing then it reduces the charge density of oxide means o minus and it stabilizes the conjugate base then it will be more acidic less acidic now if you get if you see some simple chart of alcohol so what we can see this it will give the conjugate base of cf3 o minus here 3 fluorine group is strong electron withdrawing group so it reduces the charge density of o minus so this is more stable than other any conjugate base of this alcohol so it will give most acidity now next is methanol this is the stability order and this tertiary one is least stable because we know that methyl group is strong electron donating group so it will increases the electron density to the oxide means o minus so it more destabilizes the conjugate base so this is the list so accordingly what we have seen that if the conjugate base is more stable then the corresponding alcohol is more uh, acidic so accordingly we can see this the acidity order will be like this so this kind of question always ask that some primary alcohol or some water any amide anything is given and first we have to think that what is the conjugate base of the whatever problem is given and the stability of the conjugate base if the conjugate base is more stable then obviously that uh, acid will be or acid or alcohol will be more acidic now next is some reaction we'll see that is first that is important reaction that is lucas test so lucas test what we have seen that roh in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride and hx mostly hcl it will give formation of rcl now very important thing we have to remember that is this reaction undergoes through formation of carbocation now we always know that the stability of the carbocation is the steps the order of stability of carbocation is 3 degree then 2 degree then 1 degree so the lucas test always for means always seen for 3 degree alcohol very fast for 2 degree it takes some time and for 1 degree it is it does not occur so what we can see let us suppose if we take tertiary butyl alcohol so tertiary butyl alcohol when if we add hcl so it will give protonation then formation of tertiary butyl carbocation 
Now this tertiary butyl carbocation reacts with chloride and gives formation of tertiary butyl chloride. So in laboratory we can see if we add that zinc anhydride zinc chloride and HCl concentrated HCl this concentrated HCl. So for tertiary alcohol it will give immediately formation of white colored alkyl halide that is tertiary butyl chloride and for 2 degree alcohol it is so for tertiary butyl alcohol it occurs immediately secondary butyl alcohol it occurs in 5 to 10 minute so it will give white ppt and for primary alcohol this reaction does not occur so if in exam if it is given that any alcohol it is giving immediately suppose the question is asked that there is a mixture of tertiary alcohol and primary alcohol or you have given three kind of alcohol that is tertiary alcohol secondary alcohol and primary alcohol and you have to identify that which alcohol is in which test tube so we can use this Lucas reagent what is Lucas reagent that is anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated HCl so if we add anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrate HCl for tertiary alcohol it will give immediately formation of white precipitate and for secondary alcohol it will take 5 to 10 minutes and for primary alcohol it will does not occur means infinite time so immediately we can identify which alcohol it is the only primary alcohol gives the Lucas test that is allylic or benzylic alcohol as previous means initially we have already told that the Lucas test depends on the stability of the carbocation so if any primary carbocation gives extra stability then it will undergo this Lucas test let us suppose allylic alcohol so this allylic alcohol it will give in presence of HCl allylic carbocation we know this allylic carbocation is highly resonance stabilized so what will give so this is to resonating form similarly if we use benzylic alcohol so benzylic alcohol also give stable benzylic carbocation so it will be highly resonance stabilized by aromatic ring now due to this reason this though these are primary alcohol but it undergoes the Lucas test so this alcohol these two alcohol also gives the positive Lucas test now esterification so esterification reaction this basically R dash OH and if we react with any carboxylic acid that is in presence of acid acid catalyzed so it will give formation of ester so we just so this will give so for ester this RCOOR bond is known as ester bond now this is generally synthesized that is alcohol is reacted with carboxylic acid in presence of acid this will give ester formation so generally concentrated sulfuric acid are used similarly if we add R R dash OH and acetic any acid anhydride R C O O R in presence of acid this also gives formation of ester so but we can see that this H part will go to one acid and this remaining part will go to that this alcohol and this will give formation of ester and one molecule of carboxylic acid now next that is acid chloride or we can write in this way for better understanding so what we can see formation of ester and formation of HCl so what we can see that HCl is generated in forward direction so sometimes this HCl create problem so we use mild base like pyridine so pyridine 
used to catalyze this reaction to formation of ester. So these are all esterification reaction. Now next that is dehydration. What we have seen in alkene that alkene is hydrated to form alcohol just opposite reaction is dehydration. So dehydration what it will give? So let us take ethanol. So in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid acid and heat. So it will give formation of alkene. So this is just reverse reaction of hydration of alkene. So if we add water to that alkene it will give alcohol and if we dehydrate that uh, alcohol it will give alkene. So what we can see that isopropanol and n-propanol both in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid give the final product as propylene. So this makes life more simpler that is previously what we have seen that if you started with that propylene if we add water in different condition like in presence of acid it will give isopropanol if in presence of hydroborane it will give n propanol but when we dehydrate so both that alcohol that is isopropanol and n propanol it gives formation of propylene now next is trisobutanol so trisobutanol it will give so what we can see that if we add water to this it will give trisobutanol and if we dehydrate this in presence of sulfuric acid it will give this propylene 2 methyl propylene now next reaction with phosphorus halide pcl3 pcl5 if we react with phosphorus halide that is roh with pcl3 in presence of base like pyridine so it will give rcl plus H3PO3. When it, if we react with PCl5 with ROH, it will give formation of RCl and formation of POCl3 and HCl. So HCl will be consumed by pyridine. These are all reaction of alcohol. Now we will do some problem answer. Which of the following species can act as the strongest base? And the options are OH minus B, C6H5O minus that is phenolate and C RO minus that is alkoxide and D it is meta nitro phenolate. So we, we write the option OH minus B and D. So these are four options and we have to choose the right one. What we have already discussed that is the most stable conjugate base that is more acidic. Conversely the least stable conjugate base is more basic. So what we can see that what is the stability order. So we can see that this phenolate of Phenolate that negative charge is highly delocalized by that phenyl group. Similarly, this is also stabilized by this phenyl group and also stabilized by this nitro group because nitro group is that electron withdrawing group. Now for OH minus, now this OH minus we can see that only H is there. So H has neither electron withdrawing power nor electron pushing power but for RO minus R is an electron donating group so it pushes electron to that oxide so that means it pushes more electron to that O minus and that creates its more electron density to that oxygen center so this becomes more basic so RO minus is the more basic one. So the option right option is C. C is the more basic. Now next problem is that in a laboratory experiment four different type of alkene is given to a student. Disa took four test tube namely A, B, C, D containing 
CH3, CH double bond CH2 that means propylene, then butylene, then 2 butylene and 2 methyl propylene respectively and try to convert them into tertiary butyl alcohol. C carried out acid catalyzed hydrogen reaction on every alkene. Out of the four test tube, the one uh, which will give the desired result. So, what will be the result? Now, what we can see the what are the alkene is in different test tube? A is propylene, B is 1 butene, C is 2 butene, and D is 2 methyl propylene. Now, from these four different of alkene, C did the hydrogen in presence of acid and C want to form, means synthesize tertiary butyl alcohol. Now, if we do acid catalyzed hydrogen, what we will get from here? We will get isopropanol and here we will get secondary butyl alcohol and from here we will get, here also we will get secondary butyl alcohol and here we will get the tertiary butyl alcohol. So, as C want to make tertiary butyl alcohol, so the right option will be D. So, if we, if C add acid catalyzed hydrogen to that D, that is 2 methyl propylene, so it will form tertiary butyl alcohol. The next problem is that we have to do a matching. So, here some different different reactions are given and here some reagents are given and and final here the combination of the re reaction and the reagent are given in options. So, first we, we can see that oxidation of primary alcohol to aldehyde. Now, we know that for oxidation of primary alcohol to aldehyde, we need a relatively mild oxidizing agent and that is most use that is pyridinium chlorocomate and that is PCC. So, one is related to R. So, so first combination is that one is related to PCC means R. Now, that is butan 2 one that is butan butan 2 all that is related to P means 2 is related to P. Now, this 3 that is bromination of phenol to 246 tribomophenol this is related to R S and 4 that is dehydration of proban to all to propene it is related to sorry it is related to Q. So, so what is the right answer? 1 is related to R, 2 is related to P, 3 is related to S and 4 is related to Q. So, A is the right answer in this problem. The next problem we will see that is the relative acidities of here we have given some example like water, then methanol, then propyne, then ammonia and then methane. So, what will be the order of acidity and the options are given here first that is 2 greater than 1, greater than 4, greater than 3 and greater than 5. Next, B, 1, greater than 2, greater than 3, greater than 4, greater than 5. C, 3, greater than 5, greater than 4, greater than 1, greater than 2. And D, 2, greater than 1, greater than 3, greater than 4, greater than 5. Now, how you can solve this problem? So, here you can follow two pathway. That is, if you know that whatever the pKa value of whatever the substance is given, then you can easily answer. Whatever pKa, pKa we know that acidity strain, if the lower pKa is there, that means that is more acidic and greater pKa value that is less acidic. Conversely, that is more basic. Similarly, if we do not know that pKa value, then we will see whatever the substance are given, they are whatever the conjugate base will be formed and the base strength will decide that how much acid is there. A stronger acid has weaker conjugate base. Similarly, a weaker acid has stronger 
conjugate base. Now we can see one by one that is H2O it will give acid H plus and OH minus that is this is one. Similarly two CH3OH this will give H plus plus CH3O minus this is hydroxide this is methoxide. Now three propyne CH3C triple bond CH so it will also give H plus and CH3C T minus. Similarly from ammonia it will give H plus and amide minus and finally methane it will give H plus and CH3 minus. So this is carbon ion. So here in now we have to consider the basicity of the conjugate base. Now the conjugate base strength are as follows CH3 minus then NH2 minus then propyne carbon ion then OH minus then CH3O. Here one thing you have to remember that is this water and methanol has very close acidity. So only methanol is the alcohol that has more acidity than water except methanol all are less and less acidic than water. So that OH minus has greater basicity than methoxide. So if it is the conjugate base strength order then the acidity order should be so if we consider the number D is the right answer. We can put tick mark on D. Now next question is which of the following can be used for the synthesis of 3 methyl meta yes, 3 methyl 1 butanol and the options are first NC3H7 MgBr that is normal propyl magnesium bromide plus acetaldehyde B CH3 hold to CH CH2 MgBr plus formaldehyde C C2H5 MgBr plus acetone and D CH3 plus 3 C MgBr plus TH2O means formaldehyde this CH2O you have to remember that is it is formaldehyde formula because formaldehyde we used to write like this and it is at equal to TH2O now for this kind of problem you have to do red photosynthetic approach so what is the product we have to synthesize that is 3 methyl 1 butanol so what is 3 methyl 1 butanol so this is 3 methyl 1 butanol this is 3 and 1 now as we have already discussed that is by Bignard reagent we can synthesize any kind of alcohol like primary secondary tertiary so here the problem is we have to synthesize primary alcohol now for the primary alcohol we have to cut this part and if we cut this part so from here we will get this part we will get from formaldehyde that is CH2 and the remaining part we will give get from that Vignard reagent so if we color this plus so this is the answer so which answer is this B B is actually this one CH3 hold to CH CH2 MgBr so B is the right answer here we, we can see one transformation reaction so we have to identify that 4 now what will be the 4 so starting from this we can what is the reaction will occur here that is this is isopropanol it will react with PBr3 and it will form isopropyl bromide now this isopropyl bromide will react with magnesium and it will give Grignard reagent that is CH3 CH CH3 Mg Br isopropyl magnesium bromide now this isopropyl magnesium bromide it will react with epoxide this is epoxide so epoxide so it will react to form we know that Grignard reagent are carbon ion so it will react and this epoxide ring will break and it will give and after hydrolysis it will form alcohol so what is the option so option C is the right answer so option C is CH3 CH OH so this is the right answer now next problem is here one transformation reaction is given that is 
one keto ester compound is there and this keto ester is converted to alcohol we know that if we react ester with gignard reagent it will give tertiary alcohol so we can see it is a tertiary alcohol that means obviously here gignard reagent is reacted with the ester but we can see that this keto is remain unreacted that means it is intact so how we can do this so first we have to think that if we protect this keto group by some reagent then if we react with gignard reagent then easily we can transform this ester group to tertiary alcohol now what is the reagent we can use to protect that keto group this is very well known that is ethylene glycol in presence of acid so the answer will be if we react the keto ester group with ethylene glycol in presence of acid so it will give protected ester keto protected ester so we can write like this so this is the substrate it will form intermediate now this ester will be reacted with gignard reagent to ch3 mg br so it will give followed by hydrolysis that is h3o plus so it will give formation of this final product so we can see which option is right c c we can see that ethylene glycol h plus then 2 ch3 mg br followed by hydrolysis so this c is the right answer next problem is one transformation reaction that is keto ester which is fully reduced to form di alcohol now here we have to remember two thing that is if here it is given that it is complete reaction then always we have to choose the option that is lithium aluminum hydride then h plus because we know that lithium aluminum hydride is a very strong reducing agent so it will reduce all the carbonyl related compound that is if we, if here carbonyl group is there that is will be also reduced if any aldehyde group present that will be also reduced and similarly that ester also will be reduced but if in problem it is given that only that keto group is reduced but ester group remain intact then we have to cho choose the right option is nabh4 then h plus so as initially we told that here we will discuss some problem that will help us to solve any kind of organic related problem so we will always discuss some other possibility so here in the right answer is lithium aluminum hydride then h plus so this is the right answer there here four options are given among this compound which compound will react faster with hbr now for this kind of problem we must remember that when it will react with hbr it will form carbocation intermediate now for carbocation intermediate we have to remember that the stability of the carbocation intermediate will determine the which compound will react faster or slower now from here we can understand this b compound it will give the most stable carbocation because the carbocation will be generated it will be highly delocalized by the phenyl group so this b will be the answer and it will react faster with hbr so this carbocation will be highly delocalized so this is very stable very much stable so b is the right answer similarly if here this kind of question is asked that upon dehydration in presence of sulfuric acid which compound will react first 
same answer will be here that is b will be give b will give the first a dehydrated product because in acid catalyzed dehydration the stability of the carbocation determine the formation of the final product that is alkene so here also same answer so here one question is given that is this alcohol is reacted with sulfuric acid in presence of heat so which olefin will be formed first we will get that this alcohol will be protonated and water will be removed and carbocation will be generated so which carbocation will be generated this is secondary carbocation will be generated we know that secondary carbocation is relatively unstable than tertiary carbocation so it has always tendency to form tertiary carbocation to get extra stability one methyl group will be migrated and it will go give a rearranged carbocation that means after rearrangement tertiary carbocation will be generated then it will give formation of this olefin so which option is right the option a is the right answer so this is the option a so option a is the right answer